Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up So guys, we're back. We're back from Thailand. And um, you know, usually I would be, I guess, a little bit depressed, disappointed to get back. But to be quite honest guys, this time I'm ready to come back. I really am. Um, I've had enough holiday. I've had enough uh, fucking up my diet. I've had enough fucking up my training. And, you know, I'm really, really ready to get back into it. And so tonight, that, that day uh, that you saw in Thailand, I did a chest and shoulder session. Wasn't actually allowed to film in there very much, so that's all good. But um, I didn't hit any more sessions. And today and yesterday, we've had 36 hours of travel time with about two hours sleep. So right now, I'm feeling pretty fucking wrecked. Um... <sighs> But uh, got back into Alice Springs at about 5 o'clock this evening. It's about 10.30 at night right now. I've got work tomorrow morning. Straight back into it, guys. <laughs> With the worst client. I've got two days of the worst client in a row. Um, got my beard. Got my beard dyed, guys. Got my beard dyed while I was in Thailand. And I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I quite like it, to be honest. I, I, I can't actually grow hair around here. If I, if I could then I'd have a full fucking beard, wouldn't I? But um, it's getting a bit of length here. I think I, might, I think I might shave it off, to be honest. But if I do grow it back, I'm definitely going to colour it because I do like the way it came out. But um, anyway, uh, tonight, <coughs> got in. Um, fuck, it's been a whirlwind the last two days, honestly. It was a two-hour taxi from Pattaya to Bangkok. It was a two-hour flight from Bangkok to Kuala Lumpur. It was a three-hour stopover. Then another flight from Kuala Lumpur, a five-hour flight from Kuala Lumpur to Darwin. And then we had a killer of a stopover from fucking three in the morning to three in the afternoon in Darwin. And <laughs> stupidly, we didn't get a hotel. So me and my mate stayed at the fucking airport on the floor, trying to sleep, but the hard as floor, honestly, Darwin Airport, to sleep is just impossible, don't do it. Um, at about 9 o'clock we left, went to the mall, because it opened at 9, and we sat in one of those massage chairs, and like, literally just closed our eyes for about 2 hours, that was 11 o'clock, then we got some Nando's for lunch, and then fucked around for another couple of hours, I don't know how the hell we did it, like, literally like zombies walking around, and then finally we got our flight, got here, I managed to get like an hour's sleep on the plane and that gave me like this little kick that I needed. I got home, I had a coffee and then I went straight to the gym. So uh, really quite proud of myself actually, but I knew like I've got work tomorrow. You know, if I went to work, did a 12 hour shift and still hadn't sort of had one good session yet in two weeks, you know, I'd, I'd be kicking myself. So tonight I went down, I trained some arms. Um, you know, the strength wasn't there, to be honest. Um, for example, usually I'd be curling fifth, uh, the 40kg barbell for an easy 10 to 12 reps. Tonight, you know, I was really struggling at that 10 rep mark. And even on the, on the third and fourth set, I think I got eight, eight reps. Um, so I did biceps and triceps, three exercises for biceps, three exercises for triceps. Did a, uh, a, a um, easy bar curl. Sorry, guys, I'm really tired right now, honestly. <laughs> what what a two days of travel fucking killed me, but we're back now. We're back now. I'm back home. I tidied. I cleaned my house before I left. I filled up my car. I made my bed, and so I came back to a beautiful, nice, clean and tidy house. And you know, it it makes the world of difference coming home from a holiday to come back to that rather than come back to a house that you've got to clean and, you know, with mess everywhere and shit. It's so much nicer. So I'm really happy that happened. But, um, uh, went down to the gym, did uh, easy bar curl, five sets, or four sets. I did, um, a straight bar cable curl for four sets. And then I did some hammer curls, dumbbell hammer curls for four sets. Then I went over to the tricep dip machine, did three or four sets. 
went and did some V-bar pushdowns for four sets and then I did some rope overhead extensions for four sets. So my arms were pretty, pretty pumped. Um, I felt good in the gym. I felt fucking, you know, pumped. I, I haven't had an arm pump in two weeks. So, you know, regardless of whether I've depleted the fuck out of myself by drinking too much or I don't have any water in my system, I still had a good pump and that made me feel good. So, like I said, you know, I'll be waking up tomorrow morning knowing that I've got my first decent workout in the books. I think if I, you know, start eating again properly and start training properly, my weight will climb over the 100kg mark pretty easily. But, you know, I am quite happy with how I'm looking. Um, I've leaned out a little bit, if anything. Like I said before in the previous video, I think, uh, the only thing I've got out of this holiday is basically I've got a little bit leaner. You know, I looked, I actually looked at my step counter on my phone because um, I had it on me like every day and there were some days where I did 20,000 steps, you know, so I'm definitely burning some calories that way. Um, <laughs> a lot of them were at, at night because it's, it's obviously dancing, but, um, you know, calories are calorie, uh, a step is a step and, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, look, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm going to smash this meal, post-workout meal. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and, you know, I've got fuck all food in the house. So I'm going to do my 12-hour shift. I've made, I've made about three meals to take to work with me, protein and carbs. I'll eat them throughout the day. Um, and then after work at 7 o'clock, I'll go and train for one and then uh, go to the supermarket and buy a shitload of food um, to continue this bulk guys because I'm not going to cut. I had thoughts of um, continuing cutting but you know if I had been training effectively over the last two weeks maybe I would have because you know I would have maintained the muscle a lot, eat a lot better but I do feel a little bit small, a little bit flat. I mean my weight is is you know what is it six and a half kgs down on, on my, my top weight so I definitely want to see those three figures on the scale again and we're going to get there very soon. So I'll leave you here, guys. Um, this was, yeah, the only vlog I sort of did in, in Thailand. It was all a bit of a blur. <laughs> no, it wasn't a blur. Um, I actually held, my, held myself really well uh, drinking a lot of alcohol. You know, back in the day when I was 19 and 20, um, I would have blacked out like a lot of those nights, woken up thinking, what the fuck did I do last night? But that never happened, and I was really happy about that. I had a fantastic time. Really happy to be back home. Got to get back on the grind, guys. And, you know, I'll give you one piece of advice before I leave. And um, it's simple advice, very simple. If you fall off the bandwagon with your training and diet, <laughs> the only way to get back on is to get back on. It's as simple as that, guys. The only way to get back into it effectively is just get back into it. Don't wait till Monday. Don't fucking do that. Just get in there now. Smash it. And that's what I did. So I'm going to feel so much better tomorrow for it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, love, all that stuff. Have a fantastic night. Stranded, reaching out.